Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I'm here to do the month of April's year 2021 reading for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm sending you so much love and light and blessings. If you're one of my returning viewers, watchers, or subscribers, I'm sending you so much love as well and wonderfulness and all that good stuff. And as far as my cross watchers, you're always welcome. Please come on in and join us. Love and light to you. If you don't know because you're new to my channel, I'm not big on signs. I like to focus on you, Sagittarius, but if your message correlates to another Zodiac reading that I've done, I may refer you to watch that one, but remember, you always have free will. Do what you feel is best. When it comes to Oracle and Tarot cards, it's all about energy, so just focus on the messages and implement or place yourself where you fit, okay, but don't ever force it. So you can flip-flop it, put it into your situation, but never ever force it, you know. It is a general reading, okay? So remember, we all have free will and with God and spirit and your own personal actions, outcomes can change. I will not use reversals in this reading. There is one deck that I do use, but I'm not using it today. I'm only using two decks in this reading and they're both Oracle decks. Um, if I forget to name the decks, please read the description box below. I have all the decks there. Please remember to like, share, subscribe and comment. It keeps my channel growing and going. And that is the ultimate goal. As promised, I said I would give you guys more videos and I'm on my game. So I'm giving you guys more videos. And um, I have so much more to come. I am finally available again for life coaching sessions and readings. I have a new phone that I'm using now. Um, I'm still like deleting apps that crossed over from the last uh, phone. I need to get rid of some apps so I can free up some more space. But it's a lot faster when uploading. Thank God. So I'm making it work to the best of my ability. So just reach out if you need to. My email is below once again in the description box. By the way, I do have PayPal and Cash App if you're interested you guys can leave a donation. That's always greatly appreciated. Know that whatever you put into me, I'm putting back into you because I do, I get more research. I watch other tarot card videos. I'm always learning and growing. I'm always close to God and spirit every single day. And I'm always making new decks and looking for various ways to give you guys different messages and spreads and just letting spirit come through and recharging myself. And then I also work for another company where I do readings as well. But it will always come back to you. And I have so much planned for this channel. You guys have no idea. But believe me, you will see. I promise you will see. So today I'm doing um, empowerment messages. So this is an empowerment reading. And basically empowerment is just about connecting to spirit and your highest self. Feeling empowered. Feeling powerful. And connecting to your highest self. And loving yourself. And um, I'm raising your vibration. Okay. So these messages will be about what you can do to feel better better to feel awesome to feel great to get in touch with spirit your guides god jesus your entire spiritual team and just feel wonderful and what can you do to um, serve god and how can you be a better person this is what this is about and feeling empowered so um i hope these messages help you all and resonate in some form you may hear somebody laughing in the background i do have company over um these walls can be thin i do have the door closed but Walls can be thin and people watching TV and people are always around me. So I try to find quiet time. So if it picks up, I'm sorry if you hear the giggles and the laughs and people enjoying themselves. But um, I will do my best to give you the best reading I can possible, Sagittarius. And um, this reading shouldn't even be that long. So I don't expect them to be no more than um, probably 10 to 20 minutes tops, but somewhere around there. All right, let's start. Spirit, please come through as you always do. Of course, all my cards have been prayed upon, meditated upon, and I'm starting with the love and light deck. I've already pre um, pulled your message, which is here. And Sagittarius, I will read your card intuitively and I will read from the book from this deck. This is the love and light deck. This is by Doreen Virtue. And I really love this deck because it has scriptures from the Bible. It's really awesome. This one says, leave a trail of love as you walk the earth. From Palms chapter 104, verse 24, it says, oh Lord, what a variety of things you have made. In wisdom, you have made them all. I love this card because it's a reminder to respect the earth, respect each other, respect yourself. And everything that we do, God sees. Okay, and our entire spiritual team, they're with us. They're watching. They're guiding. They're helping us, right? They're supporting us. They're listening to us and trying to figure out what we really want, what we really need, and giving us that balance to make us happy and see us prosper and be successful. So in that, it's up to you, Sagittarius, to leave your legacy of what you would want people to remember about you. So it's about what you do, how you lived, what you did right and wrong, and how you improved yourself over years. So how did you help the world? Did you volunteer? Did you 
give great advice. You know, people are going to remember you for who you are. So always show your best. Remember that, you know, we are all servants of God. We're here to serve him. And in that serving God, we are granted with peace and happiness and love and light and blessings and gifts, which is amazing. So definitely remember to leave a trail of love as you walk to earth. So leave loving memories behind for your loved ones and for yourself and, and for the world, you know, to make it a better place, of course. Okay, so let me read from the book. It says, what are some fond childhood memories you have of spending time in nature? Did you go camping or hiking? Now that you're an adult, your relationship with nature has evolved to include your being a good steward for your environment. For example, being mindful of the products you use that enter the water supply and are flushed into the sea, keeping litter to a minimum, and using only biodegradable products with no harsh chemicals are ways of showing respect and care for the environment. Nature and life involve balance, and we are stewards of God's creation. Sometimes that means speaking up on behalf of animals and the environment. And it definitely means being a good role model of kindness towards all. God created everything to be in divine harmony. It really is miraculous. Pray on ways that you can help the ocean and your environment and be sure to take positive action. Change starts at your own doorstep. Love it. What an incredible book, right? Who doesn't love Doreen Virtue's work, right? <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the second part of your reading. This is from, this is an empowerment deck. This is the Magical Times Empowerment Deck. And of course, all the decks are listed in the description box below. Please, Spirit, come through as you always do for the Zodiac Sign of Sagittarius for the month of April, year 2021. For the Zodiac Sign of Sagittarius. I'm going to pull at least four messages or whatever Spirit has for us. So let's see. I hope this video doesn't cut off. My other one cut off for Taurus and I had to do two parts. So if it does, I will do two parts, but we'll see. For Sagittarius, please, Spirit, come through as you always do. For Sagittarius. Okay, there's one. For Sagittarius, for the Zodiac sign of Sagittarius. For the month of April, year 2021. Hold up, my ring is twisted. Okay. Two, two more spirit or whatever you feel is best. There they are. They came out together. Okay. So let's see. Oh, wow. I love it. You guys have expectation, adversity, union, and pilgrimage. Expectation. It says, be open for whatever comes next. It might just be the music your heart's been waiting to hear. Be open to blessings. Be open to what spirit is showing you, what they're telling you, and the unknown. Um, anticipate blessings. Ask for what you want and need. Spirit is always listening. Write things down. Manifest. And make sure that you are in a place of receiving. You may just have to open your hands and arms when you're praying to reach and receive to God. Receive is what I'm getting here. Okay? Expect the unexpected is what I would say. Be ready for what's new. You know, take a leap of faith. Be brave. Be open. And always show gratitude. This is also reminding me of being thankful for everything that you have and everything that you don't know that is coming. Be appreciative of everything that you have by using it to the best of your ability. And always looking around at the resources that you have just lying around that you may skip over. You know, before just going to a store, take inventory of what you have. You know, get what you need. You know, be resourceful. And definitely show gratitude to God and spirit because they're always working in your favor. You guys have adversity, Sagittarius. I love this card because it reminds me that it's not how many times you fall, but how many times you stand strong and tall. How many times did you get up no matter what you went through, no matter what you endured, or no matter how hard and challenging and difficult and disrespectful it was, get up. Always get up. If you can get up, get up. If you can't get up, roll. If you can't roll, move. You know, make a sound. Get up. Always spiritually fight for your life. And physically, if you have to. It says, see the gifts in challenge. One can be taught within the calm, but the greatest lessons are learn from the storms. Absolutely. Make sure you learn from the good times, the bad times, and the in-between times in your life and the people around you. We can learn from others. 
I feel strength in this card of adversity. You've been through a lot, Sagittarius, but no matter what you've endured or experienced, don't let anything ever break you. Bend, but never ever break. Get up. Learn from it, and you will find that you're stronger, you're smarter, you're harder, you're better, you're more spiritual. Climb higher. Stay close to spirit at all times. Not sometimes, all times, every day. Go higher. Climb higher. Go farther. You can. You can. You will. You should. Believe is what I'm hearing. You have union. I like this. This also reminds me of a... um. Union is about people coming together. So it always reminds me of partnerships and help. It says you have seen and unseen allies draw up on their strength, join forces with friends and flourish. You do have friends and some of your helpers are spirit. So some of your helpers and guides are people you cannot see, but you make them feel their energy or you may not know they're there. They are there. You have an entire spiritual team that got you and God all.